Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rukakudash. Uh, this is going to be Ezekiel 37. Okay, this is Ezekiel 37 in verse 1. The hand of the Lord Yahweh was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Yahweh and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused, and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were many in the open valley and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord Yahweh, power thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy unto these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of Yahweh. Thus saith the Lord power unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. Right? I want to go to Micah 3. God damn it. This is Micah 3 and 1, and I, hit, and, and I said, Hear, I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and ye princes of the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment, who hate the good and love the evil, who pluck off their skin from off of them, and their flesh from off of their bones? Right? So, back over here in Ezekiel 37, it says, Uh in the midst of the valley which were full of bones right and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry and he said unto me son of man can these bones live so it wasn't uh, a valley full of skeletons it's a it's a valley of full of people right but they're all spiritually dead they don't have any flesh on them and they're just you know, they don't they have no idea, knowledge of self. They have no understanding as far as the Lord is concerned. And so they're basically dead spiritually. OK, and so thus saith the Lord. Uh, the Lord power into these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. Uh it was verse 6. And I will lay sinews upon you and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh. And so I came over here to Micah 3 and I want to read it in the NLT. And it is Micah 3 and 1 in the NLT. I said, listen, you leaders of Israel. You are supposed to know right from wrong. But you are the very ones who hate good and love evil. And this is talking to your, 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 your church pastors, your Catholic priests, your Christian priests, your teachers, your uh, politicians, your sports stars, everybody who's, who's in a position of, of, of influence and, and authority, right? You are the very ones who hate good and love evil because you push these abominations to our children you know you you push evil wickedness as far as transgenderism and homosexuality and accept everybody and you know and and, and it's leading our people into straight destruction you skin people alive and tear their flesh from off their bones because you come up against uh the men of the lord who are trying to tell our people who they are and you're telling them that uh, anybody can be an Israelite and everybody can be saved. The Lord came for everybody. And, you know, you fight at every turn against the truth and you push these 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 abominations. Chapter three. Yes, you eat my people's flesh, strip off their skin and break their bones. You chop them up like meat for the cooking pot. Verse 4, then you beg the Lord, Yahweh, for help in times of trouble. Do you really expect him to answer? All, after all the evil you have done, he won't even look at you. 
okay? And that's exactly what happens, you know? Nobody, you know, you, 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 these people out here, they, they, they want to live in their, their wickedness and don't want to repent and don't, don't give, give the, the, the men of the Lord the time of day. But when soon as something happens, you're over here praying God will help you get through it. But like this says, he won't even look at you in the times of trouble, you know? Do you really expect him to answer? And the answer would be no, right? So back over here to Ezekiel 37. And where was I at verse 7? Uh, okay, so the bones, he asked if the bones could live. And I will lay sinews upon you and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin because our, our leaders had, had pulled the skin off of us, right? Along with the rest of the nations by putting uh, uh, fake names over who we really are when we're the, the, the children of Israel. They tell us that, oh, you're a Native American or you're a Mexican or, or you know, you're, you're a Negro, an African American or, you know. All of these things who, who that's 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 what is called plucking the skin off of us. Right. So the Lord is telling us through Ezekiel that he will lay sinews upon us and bring flesh upon us and cover you with skin and put breath in you. And ye shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh. And we can find uh, the name of the Lord in Exodus 13, 3 and 14. Right. Where he says uh, he tells uh Moses, I am sent you. His name isn't I am, it's he is. Yah, Hawa, Yah, he, Hawa is or to be, right? Or exists. He is, he is, right? So I prophesied as I was commanded, verse 7. And as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews. And the flesh came up upon them and skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. So our people uh, uh, began to realize that there was more to the story than just being an Indian or a Mexican or an African-American or a Negro. Right. They didn't get the full truth until uh, the 60s when uh, Abba Bivens uh, came with. With, with the truth, along with uh, King Masha, High Priest Arya, all of the, uh, all of the four, like you, I would say, four parents of, of, of all of the, the, the men of the Lord, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which is where I learned um, what I'm sharing with you, because I, I can't really say I'm teaching you because... Uh, they have already taught it. I entered into their labors, and I'm just sharing what what I learned from them. And I praise Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, for those men and their diligence. Uh, okay, so verse nine. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Power, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me. Uh, so I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up on, on their feet, an exceeding great army. And these are all of the camps that you see in all of the countries in the world, right? Pretty much, except for a few. But, but uh, Great Millstone pretty much is, is in a lot of countries around the world. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Therefore prophesy, say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. 
And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves, and shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land, and then ye shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, thus saith the Lord. And this is what we're waiting for, we're hoping for, you know, uh, the men of the Lord, the teachers, uh, the elect, right, uh, to be brought out of our graves if we are to die on this side uh when Yahweh Shai comes back he's going to raise the dead and Yahweh Shai first right come out of our graves and be brought back into the land right and we will know the Lord then because he will have his uh his laws into our inward parts and we will not die because we won't sin we will be immortal and we will know that only Yahweh could have done that. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, right? And put my spirit in you, ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. We're going to get our land back from these Amalekites. You know, we're going to uh, destroy them. So, even if we have to die when the, when the missiles come, uh, in the twinkling of an eye, he's going to bring us right back, no matter... Even if it takes forever or, or whatever, it's gonna be like a, like a dream, like a blink of an eye. And when we when we awaken again, we will be brand new in the kingdom, and we won't be on the bottom anymore. Which is the whole point of uh, learning the truth, sharing this ministry, right? The 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 beauty and the power of the the workings of the Lord. You know, that's what I I, I get out of it. Uh, so verse 15 The word of Yahweh came unto me saying Moreover son of man Take thee one stick uh, Take thee one stick uh, And write And write upon it for Judah For the children of Israel His companions And then take another stick And write upon it for Joseph The stick of Ephraim For all the house of Israel His companions So the stick of Judah Which is the uh and the children of Israel, his companions, which is the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, they were the three, the third part of the stars of heaven that were brought down to the earth during the time of uh, uh, Yahweh Shai. The Romans had uh, brought them down, right? That's Judah and the children of Israel, his companions. Take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and all the house of Israel, his companions. So, Joseph, uh, Joseph, the house of Joseph is, uh, 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 Manasseh, right? Uh, Ephraim is the, uh, Puerto Ricans today. They're the lead tribe of the Northern Kingdom, of, Northern, Northern Kingdom of Israel. And so that's who it's talking about. The Northern Kingdom, Ephraim is in the lead and Judah is in the lead of the Southern Kingdom. And so, verse 17, and join them one to another into one stick. And so, this is uh, the Lord bringing the house of Judah and the house of Israel together. The, the, the natives, the natives and the, the, the Negro together, right? And all people who spring from those people who don't necessarily look like them, but go back to those people. Uh, through the line of their fathers, we're all going to come together. And so for an indigenous only or native only Israelite who doesn't believe that uh, our Lord is, 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 a, is a black man, man of color, a Negro, that he's a, he's a, he's a native, who are, who are we supposed to join up with if it's uh, not the Negro in this country, Babylon the Great? who is Judah, you know, they never, they say who it ain't, but they never say who it is, you know, that would be, that would be my question to them, but they will never answer it, okay, uh, verse 17, and join them one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thine hand, um, and when the children of the people speak unto these saying, Wilt thou show us what thou meanest by these? 
Okay, so that's what the whole point of the, the 12 tribes sign is. When the children of, of thy people shall speak unto thee, when they walk by and they see the sign saying, Will thou not show us what thou meanest by these? When you're over here in the NLT, when your people ask you what your ac actions mean, what does this sign mean when I see uh, a Native American is the tribe of Gad? What do you mean by that? So you go into it and you'll break it down, show them uh, uh, through Genesis 49, the tribe of Gad. You go into uh, 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 Second Esdras 13 and 40 about the 12 tribes leaving Assyria in captivity, coming to Osirith on a year and a half voyage and dispersing from there. You go into uh, all the signs of uh, who the Gadites are according to uh uh different uh prophecies and 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 history and archaeology you know and so that's what it is the sign is a hook right uh, a conversation starter okay verse 19 say unto them say unto them Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh power. Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, because Ephraim is the lead uh, head tribe of the northern kingdom, and the tribes of Israel, his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah. So they're going to join them and make them one stick, and they shall be one in mine hand. And the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thine hand before their eyes, and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, power behold i will take the children of israel from among the heathen whether they be gone which is here in babylon the great and everywhere else that they were taken to like when christopher columbus came he took uh he took taino indians back to uh spain and had them in slavery right and uh all the different ways that they came through 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 wars or through uh deportations or or however they got to where they are but he's gonna he's gonna take the children of israel from among the heathen whither they be gone and which the majority of us are here in babylon the great right and i will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land so we're all going back home and i will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of israel and one king shall be king to them all and they shall be no more two nations and this is where I got the name for my uh, for my channel right here on YouTube, uh, No More Two Nations. It always struck a chord with me that uh, the Lord was going to bring the two people who fight against each other the most, but were the closest to each other, at least here on the West Coast. You know what I mean? Uh, natives, not so much the natives, but the Mexicans and the blacks. They're always at war with each other in the penitentiary. It it, it 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 always struck a chord in my heart that the Lord would 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 kill that divide between them and bring them together, and like uh, that's something that I, I I always wanted to see, you know, because I always felt uh, that there's a deeper connection between the two. But neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. Neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. So no more uh, bowing down to Mary, the Virgin Guadalupe, uh, was this uh, Jesus Malverde, none of that shit. It's all going to burn. It's, it's, it's gone, you know what I mean? And no more transgressions. We're not going to be sinning anymore. Right, but I will save them out of all their dwelling places wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them. And that would be uh, uh, Psalms nineteen and nine, uh, taking heed thereto by the word. Right, uh, Ephesians five and twenty six, the washing of water by the word. This is how. This is the way that He's going to cleanse us, and that's how we're being cleansed now, by 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 listening to the the the, the apostles and the elders writing down these scriptures, going back over them for ourselves, put them on your channel so that somebody else can hear it, you know, uh, at the very least, at the very least, make videos, try to teach people, 
you know, teach the elect. You know, it's not about nation building. It's about waking up the elect and, and, and so they can be sealed and this shit can get going and we can get out of here. Right. Verse 24. And David, my servant, shall be their king over them and they shall have one shepherd and they shall also walk in my judgments and observe my statutes and do them. And you can find that in Isaiah 40 and in Jeremiah 23, right? Uh, Isaiah 40, let me see, 40 and 11, 40 and 11. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are with young. Right? Uh, Jeremiah 23 and 5. Let's get that one. Speaking of David, behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch. Speaking of Yahweh Shai. And a king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. Because Jehoshaphat is the king of kings and lord of lords, right? Uh, let me see here. Thirty and nine it says. But they shall serve the Lord Yahweh their power and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. So King David, who through the spirit we believe is King Marsha, right, will, well, I, I believe what the apostles and the elders say, because how can they, how could the spirit be wrong when it was right about so many other things? I mean, it could be, but I believe what they say to be true, you know, just based on the fact that the, the understanding of the Bible came through them and it reached somebody like me right that in itself is a miracle as far as i'm concerned right chapter 34 23 34 and 23 uh, okay so Verse 25, Ezekiel, 20, uh, Ezekiel 37 and 25. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob, my servant. Wait up. My bad. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob, my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt, and they shall dwell therein. Even they and their children and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Right? Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. And it shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will place them and multiply them. And will set them, set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. And so... Uh, Psalms 89 and 4, right? Psalms 89 and 4, covenant of peace. 89 and 4. Thy seed will I establish forever and build up thy throne to all generations. Selah. Uh, Thirty-four twenty-five, and I will make with them a covenant of peace and will cause the evil beast to cease out of the land and they shall dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods let's read it in the NLT I will make a covenant of peace with my people and drive away the dangerous animals from the land and they will be able to camp safely in the wildest places and sleep in the woods without fear so not only that the animals but also the, the the wicked other nations right we will live in peace from them right in the midst of them forevermore 27 my tabernacle 37 and 27 
moreover say my tabernacle shall be with them yea I will be their God and they shall be my people right um, and that's uh, chapter 11 verse 20 I shall, they shall be my God and I shall be their people verse 28 and the heathen shall know that I, the Lord, Yahweh, do sanctify Israel, and my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. So, that was the uh, the breakdown of Ezekiel 20, or 37, where it's speaking about the Lord waking up the spiritually dead Israelites. They will find out that they are, in fact, the children of Israel in the land where it was said, Thou art not my people, right? And he would cause them to uh, have skin on them. They wouldn't be dry bones anymore. They would have breath of life breathed into them. They would make themselves a stick to gather the elect. And he would save us from our enemies and put us into the land. It's basically uh, the rundown of Ezekiel 37. And I would like to say uh, all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. This is where I learned this truth from. Uh, till the next time, Shalom to the elect.